benefits of the caravan park is that it provides a holiday that people can afford. My wife and myself have been coming for uh, about 27 years since we've uh, since we've been together, and prior to that, Jen used to come down with her mother and father. So uh, probably 40 odd years plus, really. I think Go Lightly Park is just a great place for um, families, kids to uh, have freedom to ride their bikes around and meet other kids. Um, and to grow up there, and uh, it, look, it's an affordable holiday. I think that's the good thing about it. 12 years now, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's just good. It's a real sense of community. We've been coming here for 30, yeah, 30, 30 years. years. Um, I think it's just having fun and just seeing each other and be able to not just be indoors. It is an affordable holiday for a lot of people. Uh, we wouldn't be uh, down here if we, we had to uh, live in a house. This is our holiday house, if you like. <laughs> And it is affordable, and it is not glamorous, but glamour's not what we're after. Yeah. Caravanning can be a really sustainable holiday. Um, there's a lot of, I think, what, 64 sites on a relatively small piece of land. Everyone looks after the land, appreciates what we've got. Families who've come down here for generations have engaged in the community activities, so things like the Surf Life Saving Club, um, community conservation groups, uh, the Cottage by the Sea at Queenscliff. So this, this caravan park community supports all of those. Instructors in the, in, uh, in the Point Lonsdale Nipper program come from all over the place. Um, they, uh, they support the club by helping run that program by each uh, instructing the different age groups. Um, a lot of kids from the Galantly Caravan Park help out, um, which obviously, you know, you see them dressed in their instructor's gear in the morning and, you know, when they go off to nippers and you see them come back after three or four hours with, with the nippers, come back to the park. But they, they do a terrific job in supporting that program. The people within the park, the, the residents within the park, are, uh, are just uh, residents of the park. They embed themselves in the community and they're involved in all sorts of community activities from the surf club to land care activities, um, church groups. Yeah, it, it's a, a part of the Point Lonsdale and Queenscliff community and part of the borough, I think. And we did a, uh, an economic um, impact study some years ago of, of what residents inject into the local community each and every year. And it was $450,000 per annum, that, you know, like real dollars. Um, and then if you put that through any economic formula, um, the economic overall contribution to, uh, to the borough is, uh, is very, very significant. Um, a few years back we asked people to tell us what they were spending. Um, and you know, it was in the order of you know each family was spending you know four and five hundred dollars a week in whether it was going out to eat or just simply buying shopping at the supermarket, um, the ice creams that get bought, etc. So you know there really is an injection, and um, as a consequence of that, as we've been campaigning to save the park, the local traders have been very supportive because I think they understand very clearly that. Um, the campers here do support their businesses during the peak season. It is critically important that the land is retained as public park and, and recreation and the businesses are crying out for it. Um, you know, over the years when the council were mooting that they were going to close the park, um, the, the business community just rallied together um, and are a very, very strong advocate for the ongoing sustainability, long term sustainability of the caravan park. And it's not just business, it's, it's community. The, the Ripu Swim Classic, which has been going now for 25 years, is the, the major fundraiser for the surf club each year. Um, we get over 1,500 swimmers swimming it, um, range from 12 year olds right through to 80 plus. Uh, in the past we had a huge, huge number of people from the Galatly Caravan Park who come and support the event, not only swim it, but uh, help by pro providing water safety. Many of the uh, people there are members of the surf club and they, they help the community in that respect so they do a great job. I see this as part of the Australian tradition of going away with your family down to the beach, being as close as possible to the water, having lots of fun with your family and making friends at the caravan park. It's just a great way of life. Yeah, now you're seeing the next generation now coming with a number of young children along the road here that, um, you know, probably in the last what, three, four years have been you know, born. Grandchildren. And grandchildren, so that's, that's great to see that generation now moving through and using the place. You can play like cricket and everyone like, gets out there and plays. Like, you can just go around easily and all the kids. You know, like, you get to join in. To join in.
Oh, it, it's essential that it keeps going. It, it's a um, it's an incredible source of income for the local bar. Um, in fact, it's probably it's, it, we know it's its largest revenue source other than the council rates, uh, and it, um, it it just provides a vibrancy in the in the summertime to to this community. And I think it's really important that families from all over Victoria can afford to have a holiday. Oh, I think it's the beach scene and being close to the beach and, um, and for young kids, for young children, very safe for them. Um, and just a nice spot to come and relax. Yeah, this is the 50th year that Go Lightly Park has been there as a caravan park, a place for people to come and have holidays. And it should be maintained. Uh, it was originally zoned caravan and recreational usage and that's what it should stay as. Yeah, it's just a really nice holiday. It's a nice, gentle holiday, uh, low-impact holiday on the environment, and um, yeah, we, we all have a great time.